Welcome to Rebel with Cult Moo. Now with sound. On today's episode, we're trying out treats. Whee! This is another one of those monthly services that sends you a bunch of uh, random treats in a box. Except that this one is specifically uh, catered toward country. So they'll send you like, oh, here's a box from the Philippines with a bunch of Philippine snacks. Here's a box from Brazil with a bunch of Brazilian snacks. Oh, okay. Explore the world through food. Yeah, and I believe they did send us uh, the Philippines box. Gotcha. It must be from Philippines. Yeah, just don't even show the camera on the cool postcard. <laughs> Mango pineapple balls, which taste real spicy and tangy at the same time. From sweet to savory to spicy, there's something in this box for everyone. We're very excited for you to dive into this box and experience the diverse and flavorful selection of science of the Philippines have to offer. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this culinary journey into the world of Filipino snacks. What's inside your treats box? Let's start with Boy Bawang by KS Food Products. <laughs> I can't you just wait. Call me? It says they're supposed to be garlic, salt, and chili pepper. Ooh. Bawang means this is barbecue. garlic, corny nuts. Oh yeah, those are Oh boy, oh boy, kitty! <laughs> They're oh. messy. Ah, 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 Jesus. Wolfie's hungry, apparently, just jumping in there. Oh. Let's give him a try, guys. Yeah. yeah. They're like a gentle corn nut. I was gonna say, I like how these ones don't feel like they're gonna break your jaw chewing on yeah. them. Yeah, they're really Why do they remind me of something else, like a cereal? They're like uh, the, the, there's a corn cereal made out of corn puffs. Corn puffs, I think, is what they're called. <laughs> they got a nice kind of roasty flavor, but also that cereal flavor that Lofi's talking about. So they're just the slightly sweet. I'm going to say the texture reminds me of it's the uh, sugar crisp or whatever, like yeah. the gold box with yeah, the Yeah, I was going to say. Can't get enough of that boy, 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 boy. What's the one with the frog on it? Sugar <laughs> smacks or something? Yeah, honey smacks. Honey, honey smacks. smacks. Get your honey smacks. Mm. Very kind of light barbecue flavor, mm -hmm. I would say, but, but, but pleasant. There's yeah. definitely garlic in there, though. Yeah. I enjoy these more than corn nuts. I'm going out on a limb here. I like the texture. Mm, I like I, that, yeah. that cereal flavor. Yeah, I, I kind of actually like the fact that every time I try to bite, it's whether or not I'm gonna bust a tooth. So yeah. like the texture of these ones are a little, a little too too flaccid for me. Yeah. I got a I little like a upset. Challenge. I got a little upset when Pink said that uh, about the corn nuts thing. But when he when he actually when I actually stopped and took a breath and just cooled down some of that innate anger, you know, I realized he was right. <laughs> um, if we if we're going Inca corn, then I I, I, I still go the Inca corn first. But these are Those probably the, better. The bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, those ones are delicious. Uh, let's rate the box instead of all the items. All right, next up we have Sweet Corn by Regent Foods. Let's see if I can show the camera. Jesus. <laughs> oh, weird. Like sweet. Yeah, they're sweet very sweet corn. smelling. But yeah. I do smell that sort of corn on the cob aroma. Yeah. All right, cheers. Mmm. I mean, mm. it's there at the end, but the initial flavor I get. Is like creamed corn in cream a can. Corn. I love green corn. <laughs> Your that mileage may vary on cream corn. Mm. <laughs> it's very odd the sensation of that butteriness with the corn, but like it's in this texture. I can get like I think if I eat enough of these, I'd start to really enjoy them. But I don't know if I want to let myself get to that point. <laughs> I won't let myself sink to that level of depravity where no. I enjoy the sweet corn snack. No. It just tastes too much like eating canned corn. I yeah, like corn. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of canned corn. Any kind of like sweet or uh, what the hell you call it the the mush the corn mush mm. mushy corn in a can. <laughs> mm. Not my favorite. Cream uh, corn fans. The time for uprising is now. Yeah, I would say if you're into uh, creamed corn, though, look for these because yeah. that flavor is definitely there. Delicious. <laughs> they look kind of like Fritos. They do look like Fritos. I wonder if they're puffed, though. They are barbecue uh, flavored once again. Oh, it's a little bit sweet smelling, yeah. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. You know, they taste a little bit more like Bugles than Frito. Fritos. Yeah. I agree. There's a certain sweetness to it. There, all of these corn snacks are kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. More than I would say salty. Like the fo the sweet is more of the focus than the salty. Like here, our ch chip snacks are all about salt. Mm -hmm. See, to me, yeah, like I'm getting not so much a barbecue flavor. To me, they almost taste like chili cheese Fritos. Only they got more of a bugle corn yeah. flavor and texture. Yeah. 
Much more subtle. Like, very subtle flavor. Cracker Nuts. <laughs> by a name I'm not going to say. Nagaraya. Perfect Filipino accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and spicy. Yeah. I don't believe that for a second. You watch out. Not for a fucking second. You watch out. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. oh, yeah. Those are fucking delicious. Very light spice. Oh, these are great, though. Got a decent, decent bit of salt. Ah. They're nice. Oh, I agree a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how many flavors they have. So, this is pretty good. Again, it's a little bit subtle on the spice. All these have been a little bit subtle in flavor. Next up, dried mangoes by a Philippine brand. Ooh. Present them. <laughs> Don't touch the mango. <laughs> you got all the mangoes. Sort of an issue. <laughs> wow. Those are those are really solid. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> Strange, it tastes kind of like a mango. That's been dried. Mm-hmm. But man, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. I think that's actually the best way to eat a mango. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah. otherwise you got like a stringy mess, you know, it's always hard to cut, right? Yeah. 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 That fucking pit that's <laughs> got as big as I am. Just end up like gnawing on it, trying to get yeah. all the flesh off. That shit. Or maybe we're just weird. Okay, next up. <laughs> They're like, those aren't mangoes you guys are eating. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Hanny Chocnut by Annie's. Chocolate bars with a distinct peanut butter taste. Are you sure it's not Chocnut? Uh, it's just like a blend, blended cocoa. Yeah, it's almost product. like a weird fudge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely smells peanut buttery. Yeah, or peanutty, I should say. Yes, but, but nuttery. Mm -hmm. Oh, super soft, crumbly. Yeah, it's like a fudge. Ooh, that's fucking delicious though. Mm. Mm. It's just like a mm. kind of a grainy, sugary. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Peanutty kind of thing. Yeah, I don't mind it at all though. No. Well, if you can have all that's the good. rest of these, those mm. ones are. No, mad. he's not taking my nuts. <laughs> My nuts. Next up, we got EXO Coffee Candy by Jack and Jill. Whee! Oh, here's the bag. Be a professional. Yeah, there you go. I just want to eat candy, dude. I'm <laughs> fucking starving right now. <laughs> nice strong coffee. Mm. I'm already biting into it. Oh, yeah, those are delicious. Definitely hard candy, mm. you know. Just suck on it, but... It kind of tastes. Knows. It kind of tastes like that one time when I just ate the Folgers crystals, only not quite as bitter. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The coffee flavor in this is just strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not overly sweetened or creamed. Yeah. It's like here's some coffee. It doesn't say there's caffeine in them though. That sucks. Mm. Why is it all? Get out of here. Why is it all coffee <laughs> candies don't have caffeine in them? This is a pretty good assortment of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. I really like that they focus on one geographical location at a time. Yeah, those munch packs were a little everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of everywhere, and there's always like the peas. You almost always get peas in the box, apparently. <laughs> Forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode too. Um, treats. The company sent these to us, so thank you very much for sending these out. Yeah. So when you're like, I didn't look at how much these things cost. I'm like, it was free, bro. Mm -hmm. Mango <laughs> balls! <laughs> you're gonna like my sweaty balls. Cheers. Cheers. My nuts seen some better days. Mm. Mm. These things are good. A lot of sugar in these ones, uh, like out of everything. Like, a lot of sugar here, but Woo! yeah, they just kind of melt in your mouth and they get a punch of flavor. Mm. They're, yeah, they're like a gumdrop, only not shitty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all like natural stuff in there. That's nice. Okay, so overall, what would you rate the box? The box? The treat box. I would rate it like a seven. Like, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff you like, but just out of the fact that it comes from a different place, and maybe you'll have a little culture shock to it too, but you'll still like everything you get. Yeah. And you'll get to taste everything around the, around the world, you ethnocentric, <laughs> xenophobic <laughs> prick. <laughs> I guess especially if you're in more of a rural area where you yeah. don't have like a Wajumaya like we have out here, yeah. where you don't have the option yeah. to even find this kind of stuff. You can't go down the block and find six different ethnic stores. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be especially appealing. I think I would give honestly a seven and a half. Yeah, D depending on price. Like if this is like a I don't know like a twenty dollar box, <laughs> which it's definitely not. That's that's like an eight and a half. But it's good stuff. Good stuff. The whole idea behind the box, I'd say it's probably about seven and a half, eight. Just because, I mean, it is cool that it's it's from a particular region each time that you get one. But, like, yeah, I mean, as far as 
the overall items and stuff in there, I'd say it's probably, you know, 50-50 as far as some of them were good, some of them were bad. So yeah. it's like, you I have that to look forward to. I a single one of these things was this this there I guess was like that one I bad there was I one love bad. this shut up that was like there's one five in this entire box and the rest are like averaging seven don't listen to them eh, just, don't listen to them they don't know what you guys like them more and than then you got like an eight and a half and a, to a nine right here we can all agree that cream, cream corn is bad no and, no. and in this instance Lofi's wrong yes mm. Mm. There will everybody be gets rising everybody's wrong about rising. something everybody's wrong about something except me because I, I I edit the film mm -hmm. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be right? Edit the film, bitches. <laughs> All right. Treats, thank you so much for sending these to us. Uh, go check out the link in the description. Check them out. This has been Grown with Cult Moo and a fart. Stinky ass. Uh.